Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today I am recording this to you from RecordCast. Now, RecordCast is a free online screen recording software that allows you to record and capture what's on your screen. And this was introduced to me by one of the market researchers and they wanted me to try this out. So as you can see here, it shows that you can record up to 30 minutes of footage at one time and then it says here you can hide the page during recording so what we're going to show you is what it's recording right now it records the screen it records all your contents and before you start the recording it allows you to select your microphone and your webcam as well so as I'm looking at the webcam right now I'm using the microphone as well for the audio it gives you that option so we're just going to go ahead and see what we have here so, okay, so if we go back to this, it'll say the currently recorded content will be lost. Going back to a previous step, we'll lose the current recorded content. And are you sure you want to go back? So we won't go back for this one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and open a new tab and just show you how everything looks. Now, they don't have zoom in functions while you record. So I think you can do that while you edit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to finish recording here so it shows most of my window and then we're going to go through and do the editing process which I'm going to use my other recorder for so we're just going to stop this video for a moment and then I'm going to transition to another so the first recording that you saw was with the RecordCast software, and now we've just finished recording with RecordCast. So what you see here is the window after you have finished recording with uh, RecordCast, and then it gives you the option to download, and then you also edit the video and export it to MP4. So you can press download, and you can download webcam recordings. will be downloaded as two separate WebM videos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to preview this how it looks. So it shows that everything recorded well, no problems there. And then what we'll do next is we'll go to edit and export in MP4. And it will ask you to download multiple files. You just click allow and then it'll download the files here. It'll download the screen recording and it'll download the webcam file. So then it'll take you now to this window. We're just gonna wait for that to load here. Okay. So once you make it to your window here, it gives you the timeline of where all your clips will go. And it shows here uh, it's in beta. And then you can also put a title up here so you can press the pencil icon or you can just highlight the words and then just say test capture. And then it'll record it up on the left here. And then if you click outside, let's just go test capture. And then we'll press, okay, it's not allowing us to save that. I'm not sure why. But anyways, you see all of your clips here. It shows the webcam footage up here. And it also shows the screen footage here. And it cuts it in a circle when you start out here. There's a mask there. So you can either set it as a square, no mask at all or just the circle ellipsis mask and then you can also resize the footage as you can see here so it shows how you can resize the webcam footage and you can also reposition it anywhere you like here that's pretty nice and we're just going to reposition it down here so please save the project in time in case of data loss so we'll press save okay so we'll go test So we'll go test and then it saves it. Okay, so it changes the name after you press save. And then you can also import files from your computer into the footage as well. So we're just gonna go pictures and then we'll just say, let's go, uh, let's go documents, pictures, this PC, and then we'll go videos. And then we are going to, you can export a video. So we're just going to export a small recording here. So we'll open that and then there it is. And then it, when you hover over it, it plays a preview of it. So that's what it does. And then you can just uh, import the clips by dragging and dropping down. And then it 
moves over the clips. And then if you don't like when you do that, you just press Control Z and it undoes it. And this is all online, which is really nice. And then as you can see here, this is the sound indicator where you just press it and it turns off the sound. And then you can also turn back the sound on. And then you can also drag and drop background music here. But we're not going to use any background music because of uh, copyright issues. And we won't do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to split, to split clips. So let's say you want to split certain clips. You drag your slider, then you press the split button like this. And then it splits it up. And then you can do the same with the webcam footage. So you have to do the webcam footage and the other footage separately. And then it splits it up properly. And then you can drag it and drop it. So you can select both by holding down control and clicking there or shift click you can also move them separately like this so that's how you split clips here you can move the clip back like this and then you can just move move it all if you move the original video footage here it'll move the webcam footage as well and then you can also do a copy function. So we'll press copy and then you can paste it down there and then it pastes a new copy. So to undo any things that you've done, you just press control Z and then it turns it back to where you need it. And then it shows here the mute function. Then it shows a zoom function right there. Okay, so there is a zoom function there. So what we'll do is we're going to see if we can do a zoom function here. So I think what happens is that you can zoom it up to that point and then I don't know if you can animate the masking. Okay, it doesn't give you that option to uh, animate the zoom because that's why I am just showing you this so that way it doesn't have that function. Some people want to ask me, does it have an auto zoom function or can you automatically animate the zoom? But here you can't. They have a masking for the webcam here. You can resize it and they do have a zoom function but you can just adjust it or fill the screen but that, that's all. And then there's also a crop function so if you select that you can just crop it however you like. You can crop the webcam footage here like that and then my face shows there still. It's a lot more bigger because of the crop function. And then you can also add text to it. So we're going to go and look at our simple text here. And let's put in some dynamic text. We're going to press the Add to Timeline button. And then we're going to just drag it up here to start. So then we're going to go back and then go back to our footage. And then there's our text there. So we can enter our text here. And then we can also choose the fonts that are available here. So it gives you a drop down menu of all the fonts. And then we're going to select here Bungie Inline. Then we're going to edit the text. And then we're going to enter Testing of Text. And then by Do Domingo. Then we go OK. And then you can also change the colors and these are the colors that it automatically comes with and then you can also select document colors you can choose the colors here choose the colors there and it gives you an option to save that what you saved and then we're going to just select black and yellow to start or black and green we'll just go with black and yellow to start and then you can also adjust the size of the text you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller then there's the alignment text where you can align it to the left, to the center, and to the right. And then we're going to go up here. And then there's also the positioning where you can adjust the position however you like, clicking on these six squares. And then the edit text, which you've already done, and then your italic and your bold change colors and your fonts. So that's already there. And then you can also add a background to it. So you can add the background to the timeline. And then you just put it over here. And then 
you can also put it in multiple tracks here. So the background music shows the backgrounds right there. But that's only if you wanted to add a background there without anything else. So that's the option. And then those are the three functions that I see there. And then you can also change the color of the background to whatever you like. So we're just going to delete that. Then we're going to undo what we just did. So that our project is back to normal. All right, so what we have here now is that it automatically saves the video for you. There is your redo and your undo. And then once you're happy with everything, let's say you're happy with everything that you see here, you can then go to export video. And then it gives you the options to export. So it can export up to 480p, 720p, and it allows you to export up to 1080p. That's really good. So then what you do is you go enter your name, test video, and then you can go 1080p for size and then export video. And then it will allow you to export your project. And then once it allows you to export it, you can download it to your computer and you can publish it to YouTube however you wish or whichever media site that you use.